Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twitter here, and this will be a video of the skill builds on Hongmu level 10 of Assassin onto the newest patch. Now I'm going to be doing this from scratch, so there will be some errors here and there, but I'm going to show you guys priorities on what to get and what kind of build. So it will be covering both Lightning and Dark, but even the PvP build, although I don't think that changed all that much. So let's get it started, let's go for a Dark build. Now things that you need to be using, Dark Strike... You need your mist slash. I would say I like the spinal tap. You only need like one point into this one. Now this is great for the extra damage, but you actually need this part for the poison stack and the reduced cooldown. Now you would be needing lightning rod, which is great and amazing for extra damage. You would be needing fighting spirit. You would be needing obviously hard stab. Now debatable whether you actually need it or not is the lightning strike, so I'm not going to cover that. For extra poison stacks, we take the bomb, we take shadow slash, wait, that's the wrong one, we take that one, and we take, yep, yeah, that's pretty much everything you actually need to have for everything, so now you have your bomb for the resets, I like to have my E and Q, but this is like the basics which need to be used for a dark strike, now, wait, I forgot, Poison Breath, definitely a huge addition to the Poison build. So now, just to show you uh, why all of these um, and why they have the priority over everything. Now, let's see. If you want to do basic damage, V button up, you take that one into two. And here's where you do the standard damage, basically. Now, after your buff wears out... Oh, I haven't done this in ages. Now, your chi focus is just insanely bad. Now, if you want a poison stack, there we go, five poison stack once again. Wow, yay for rotations, boys. And now we got this one again, yay. Even if you want it, you can check it out like that. You can actually cancel four right now. So that's easy rotation. Uh, but you still have 20 points left and if you go dark build obviously it goes for well for pve now let's go on to things that you want to have now i like to have this stealth escape which is great um if you go yeti for instance and you don't want to be grabbed this skill is actually pretty amazing now that one is a must have i would say shadow dash onto tier 2 which is great, it lowers the cooldown, and to me, really great skill. For people that actually want to stack more poisons, I would say go go this side. It uh, does some extra damage, and it stacks you an extra poison like this. Like, <clears throat> okay, we got another poison, but honestly, I don't think we need it onto the rotations that we currently have. I'd rather, but that is more for a lightning build, uh, go uh, this one, but this one could be the possibility right here, just for that extra point in the stack. The double stun thing, fucking useless, so either way, it's this one, and I actually like the zero meters range on this one, uh, simply because if you are in dark build, you just want to go around like, uh, uh, and there we go, another poison, and yay, I actually got in to hide. <coughs> Now, that is everything on to that priority. Now, if you want to do anything else, Hong Moon Decoy definitely must have skill for those iframes. Other iframe part, Lotus Fury, and that concludes basically the second part of what you need to get. You still got 8 points left, you can fuck around with it. But, yeah, let's say uh, Shunpo is also top tier to get. And, well, Shadow Dance, I like it a lot, but it's not really top tier of what you actually need so here you go once again you can actually uh, get yourself sidestep left uh, for the extra skills and you got a few ways few ways that you can spend your points into it so um, this is all up to you guys for what you prefer I uh, like myself some bolt strike and you need to have the one into the height so it really takes two points to get it uh, this is more of a lightning build type so it's definitely not necessary 
So you could take this or you could not take this uh, lightning strike, which is debatable at best as well, because you got a silly rotation, and I'm going to show it to you guys uh, like once. So basically, um, let's say for instance you start off into hide, like you find yourself a way into hide. Now I got one extra poison stack, just a minus this one. Now if I press left mouse button, that is the first. Now if I accidentally, here's a three, so that makes three actually, four. And you can actually tab, and then if you tab out, you can have your five poison stacks. Now, I've, I'm not quite sure how the rotation works all that amazingly, but you could also cancel it into a lightning rod to get like more focus. So, in this manner, it means that uh, extra poison stacking is uh, not necessary. So... Uh, the lightning strike is whether uh, like really debatable because you could be losing out on damage although you will be able to get extra poison stacks without uh, losing out on anything. And if you look closely, like you can do this rotation all day every day. So basically, um, we start off in tide uh, onto some parts like you could decoy for instance, but here we go. Get a few crits in, there we go, three, four, five, and here's actually six because the one button is not supposed to be used. There we go, once again. Yay, five poison stacks are actually down. Here we go, one, two, three. Poison stack, poison stack, poison stack, five. There we go. So those are a few ways where you can actually grant yourself poison stacks without actually doing anything. Now... The funny thing is, without using your throwing dagger, it allows you to like uh, pop yourself another poison stack, but you will not be um, getting the daze itself. Now, some bosses require the daze, but a lot of them actually don't, which allow you for more ways and easier points to get. So once again, lightning strike, debatable whether to get it or not. I would actually say I would pick lightning strike over the bolt strike. And here we got one thing once again, which is the Shadow Drain, um, which is debatable because you want to be not into like the, the decoy stance or the stealth stance all that much. So <coughs> really debatable whether to get this one or not. So basically you have a few points to like play around with. I would honestly, instead of everything, uh, would go for Smokescreen, which allows you to have a one more point to put into anything. Now, if you have one point, I would say, eh, go Lightning Strike, makes it easier, or whatever. But yeah, that basically concludes uh, the full build. Did I forget to cover anything? Like, yeah, you could get your Sidewinder into a whatever does not have massive priority, but I think this basically concludes the Dark Build. If anybody has any additions, put it up into the chat. I'm very curious what you guys came up with.